Hi, I'm Staley Weidman with the Catamaran Company. We're in Gloucester, Virginia. Today we are on the Sovereign 73. We'll be shooting this boat for the next day and we'll get some offshore shots for you later. You can see how beautifully laid out this boat is. Brand new mainsail, brand new jib. Trampolines are in great condition. Nice wide open deck space. This is gonna be a great family cruising boat for someone and a performance cruiser. This is a boat that can sail at 20 knots. And the galley's set up with a nice inside, outside access. There is a fridge compartment here that also uh, is accessible from the cockpit. Great place for drinks. And you also have a full-size home fridge freezer in this galley. Large sink area propane four burner stove and oven with an exhaust hood, lots of storage space. There's a toaster in that area. I think you could put a microwave in there uh, as well if you wanted. And then loads of cabinet space and uh, hanging glassware. You know, the galley is the center of all activity, in most yachts and homes, and it's perfect to have this right on the center line of the boat to where you have a full wraparound area that also leads out into the cockpit. The galley's spacious. There's plenty of room for food preparation. You have the feeling of a island type of uh, kitchen like what you'd have in a modern home. You can see it's nicely illuminated. Loads of counter space, a large double sink. It's a nice bar arrangement down here. And there's a slight step up. So as you come up into the galley, raised up a little bit. Yeah, really nice space, plenty of room to prepare meals. You can see it, the boat has a beautiful salon, plenty of room for seating inside Helm Station. There's plenty of seating here. You got room for one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight, nine, ten. I think 10 people could sit here comfortably. All the upholstery, it shows like new. Varnish is in excellent condition. If you like the traditional feel of a yacht, this, this has it. You can see the teak and holly, all the woodworking on the floor is beautifully done. It's all in great condition. The boat's super clean. All these flat surfaces are perfectly varnished. The boat really shows nice and has a real classic nautical feel to it. Even things, you know, that are, that are updated like the control panels and some of the cabinets all still have this very nice old world nautical feel to it. And you see interesting details like these doors, for example. You look at the craftsmanship that's in this boat like this isn't a flat door, it's, it's curved and it fits perfectly. You know, this boat's been sailed around the world and still everything opens and closes easily and fits. I think it's a real testament to the kind of quality, fit and finish that this boat was built to. In this shot, you can see how much volume's in the salon. I mean, this salon is probably over 20 feet wide and you can feel how much space is inside this boat how much headroom, how much volume, and it really has a great feel. All new Garmin Marine Electronics. And you'll notice you've got a set of throttles here, engine controls, bow thruster, anchor windlass, autopilot control, FLIR night vision. This is for the charging system for the solar panels. And what you'll notice is there's no helm, there's no wheel here. So from this position, the boat is operated with the autopilot only. So from the inside helm station, this is where you'd operate the boat offshore. And there's a single sideband radio here as well. You don't see those very often on cruising boats, but a very nice thing to have. Here we have a Victron Energy display. This shows a number of different things and an in a number of different ways. 
here we're showing the AC loads, the charging that's coming in on the solar panels. We're also able to see fuel tanks, fresh water tanks. A number of displays here. It shows the power moving through the DC bank from the solar chargers into the battery bank. And we also have a number of different ways to view this. Very, very nice upgrade. Uh, we're gonna have a look at these control panels down here. These are all easily accessible. This is a 110 volt and 220 volt system. So we've got the 220 volt uh, shore power coming into the boat and then also showing the power going to the pumps and the three uh, new AC chillers. We've got the generator control here. That's for that 17 and a half kilowatt Onan. We've got the three controllers for the AC uh, chilled water compressors and selectors between shore and battery power. And then here we have another new updated Blue Sea control panel. This has 12 volt systems on it. This is the uh, controller for the satellite track phone. We also have Wi-Fi network for the boat and also uh, SIM cards for running the broadband internet on the boat. Like most of the items on board, there's a wireless remote for both of the anchor windlasses so they can both be operated uh, up and down with this wireless remote. Another nice feature to be able to stand anywhere on the boat and raise and lower the anchors or both of them. And I'm sure this makes it much easier to set and retrieve uh, your second anchor if you're using uh, two of them in an anchorage. Really nice to have. The Sovereign 73 has two bridge deck cabins, one port, one starboard. These would be considered like a master and VIP cabin. They have their own heads and showers and they are on the bridge deck level where the other four cabins for the boats are down on the companion ways on both sides. And I'll show you those, but this is a nice cabin. You've got a bridge deck window view from the cabin. There's a hanging locker and closets on this side. There's drawers underneath the berth. And then behind me, you've got a toilet, sink, and then enclosed shower compartment. This is the starboard salon cabin. Uh, I've got a berth here, put two people in there. We've got a head and shower aft, uh, storage underneath the berth and then two, uh, two hanging lockers. And as you walk out from here, you're right into the uh, salon. Very convenient place to be. All right, we're gonna go forward and have a look at the port side of the boat, but you can see how much volume is inside here just walking through, and it has an enormous feel inside. This is the port side aft cabin, nice large berth. There is a workstation or settee here, and there's some storage underneath the berth here in this location. And we're going forward into the port forward cabin.
As part of the commercial building specifications that this yacht was uh, built to in Australia, you have these super hardcore commercial escape hatches. There's one of these in each side of the hull. They're obviously dry, they don't leak uh, at all but these are much better than the plastic Lumar hatches you see in a lot of the commercially built boats that you find in the market right now. And that's easily accessible here on the sides and makes use of that space as a hanging locker. This is uh, going forward in the boat. So we have a head and shower with a separate uh, shower compartment. Dagger boards are here in the center of the boat. And then up here forward is a single cabin with no head, but a large storage compartment here, sort of a walk-in closet um, that could be made back into a head if, if you wanted. There's uh, plumbing in the space for that. I'm in the forward starboard cabin right now. From here is a uh, storage a locker in the space. This used to be a head compartment and could be made uh, that way again. You got a really solid bulkhead door. There's a head and shower in here. Storage compartments here on the side. There's an escape hatch inboard on the boat on both sides in these, uh, these cabinets. And then aft from here is a large aft cabin. This is a starboard aft cabin. It's a large berth. And then there's storage along here on the side. There's a uh, small vanity area and some cabinets there. 